Hey, 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 my lovelies. Let's get into doing our nails at home during this self-quarantine. Okay, hey, everybody. It's Jess. Welcome to Fine Curls Jess. And today we are going to be doing a dip powder set, but using the Kiss um, dip powder set that you can find at your local drugstore, Walmart, those sorts of things. I'm showing you everything that comes in the set. This set is very affordable. Ran me about $12 at my local Walgreens. Um, so, yeah, I think you can find it at Walmart. I've seen people talk about it at Walmart. It comes with everything you need, your brush on gel, your activator, a dip powder, some tips, and white tips and natural, and a dip a dish or whatever. So you're going to start off by doing your nails, prepping your nails. Prepping is the most important thing. Um, I used a pushback or a cuticle pushback tool that I got at my local Dollar Tree, and I also went in and just cut my cuticles off with a cuticle cutter. I think this was like a dollar at Walmart. Um, I've had it for a minute. You could go more expensive. You cannot cut it off. You can dissolve it off, whatever floats your boat. Then you're going to want to buff off the shine of your natural nail. I usually use a buffer to do this, um, the block buffer. And then you want to sort out your tips. Okay, so this set includes this whole brush on gel you can use as a glue type situation. Sis, save yourself some time and energy and just go out and get some nail glue because clearly this takes a long time. You have to sit, hold the nail onto your nail, wait for it to dry and to stick. It was a lot of times that I was moving too fast and then it would lift up all sorts of craziness. Honestly, it was just a waste of my time. It took forever to do. I only did the brush on gel on my left hand and then I used glue on my right hand. Um, my right hand dried way quicker, way faster. I was done doing it in like five minutes. If that, the left hand literally took about 15. Um, so I would just suggest bypassing this step and just getting you some, um, some glue period, point blank. Um, you'll also see when I start to cut my nails down that this this one nail that I spent so much time on gave me some issues. It came back up and I just used some more of that brush gel to kind of push it back down. You don't see me because I'm in not in camera angle trying to figure out how to fix this without pulling the whole tip off and then finding another tip um, it was real complicated like I said don't be like just put just use glue just use the use some glue glue is pretty inexpensive you can get some glue at your local beauty supply I mean not right now because you know stuff is closed but glue is normally like 99 cents at the beauty supply store um or you can get it at, you know, Walmart or CVS or Walgreens because, you know, they're still open. Um, but, yeah, so I just cut the tips down to a, a nice length. Um, had I known that I was going to be at home for another couple of weeks, I probably would have made my nails a little bit longer. Um, I kept them short because I have to keep them short for work. So here we are. So after you do all that, then you want to um, file your nail to the shape that you desire. And then you want to buff the tip um, down or file the tip down more so so that it's kind of flush with your nail. So you don't have this extra hump that you have to try to mask um, when you're putting on um, your powder, your dip powder. I will say that that step was pretty easy. These tips are pretty easy to work with. So it didn't take too much of anything. This little sponge that they give you to wipe off your excess dust and powder. Eh, I prefer my brush. Um, it is what it is. So the only thing that I used outside of the stuff that was given in the kit was um, my dehydrator. Um, I use it on all my dip powder sets. I find that it just naturally helps uh, the, the manicure to last um longer so i just went ahead and included it in my um step it's not needed you don't need it you can use alcohol instead and get the same effect um so then we're going to brush on this gel now this gel was a little different it's thick y'all it's thick thick and so it took a minute to kind of 
get the idea of how to put it on without making the layers too thick, if that makes sense. But the dipping dish that they include with it is really nice. If you have trouble dipping your nail in at an angle, it automatically does it for you, which is pretty cool. Um, I also think that this dish would be perfect for those of you who are trying out um, French tips with your colors. I think it's a perfect angle so that you can actually see what you're doing, um, which is why I'm going to try that out soon, too. Um, I also used this glitter. Now, mind you, I had this glitter powder in my trunk. I was planning on taking it back to Walmart a while ago, but I just, I forgot, y'all, I forgot. And so I was like, oh, well, it's the same line. Let me go ahead and use it. Now, while I must say, I love this color. I love this color. The shininess is very like a still metallic glitter this glitter by far is the most messiest glitter i have ever worked with in my life y'all i don't understand it gets everywhere it doesn't stick it it's just it's a lot it's a lot i had glitter everywhere i mean everywhere all over my little table that i do my nails at on my floor on me um some of it got on some of my other nails because it's just a lot but overall it was cool um other than it being a lot of just all over the place this like kit is really easy to work with i did three layers of dip powder on each nail um which still kind of gives you a nice um harder coat i do notice that this go around with using this dip powder that the the base or the brush on um gel that you use it definitely um makes your your nails thicker so if you want that harder thicker without having to use a, a ton of dips to build up to that then this will work perfectly for you so this is my nails basically after i you know applied my gels and all that stuff me putting on activator to harden the gels you want to leave the activator on for at least five minutes i think it said like two I'm going to tell you why I say five minutes. I waited the two minutes that they said, and then I went to go start to to file my nails down, and it was still gummy on my thumb, but I was able to mask it a little bit, and you couldn't really tell um, with the filing situation, but filing was really easy, very simple. I didn't feel like I had to file too much because it literally is almost like putting just fingernail polish on. It basically coats your nails nicely and that sort of thing um i always use alcohol to rub off my second layer of activator i just find that it's just easier that way um it doesn't harden up my brushes when i try to go put my top coat on those sorts of things and then you want to apply your top coat i used two two top or two layers of top coat or the gel to create my top coat final look it's coming up soon and i also gave you guys a bit of an update so stay tuned for that and i hope you guys enjoy let me know if you guys have tried this kit before and if you like it hey post editing jess here and i wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update it has been um seven days since i did um my nails they are still going i still have all 10 i will say that there are some imperfections but i think that's slightly user error on my part um because it was a little different for me and i was kind of rushing so i didn't clean up my cuticles as well as i would have liked to um but overall if you are new to the whole dip powder process, this set is pretty easy. I will say that it wasn't very complicated like I thought I would have had. There are some lifting in some areas, slight lifting, um, but nothing too, too bad, too terrible that I have to take these off right this second. Um, but seeing that I'm stuck at home and don't have anything else to do, I probably will just because I want to play around um, with dip powdering for a little bit. But overall, I do genuinely like um, the nails. Hold on, let me move so you can see my other hand. So here's my other hand. Um, I don't have no... <laughs> 
no moisturizer on or nothing but you know here it is there is a, a little crack in this thing I don't know if you probably can't see it it's a little crack and a little um, lifting but I think like I said before that the lifting is coming closer to the cuticles because I didn't clean up my cuticles like I know I should have again rushing but overall I do enjoy the, this this set so it has me has me thinking a little bit about life because I feel like all these other gel polishes were a little bit overly complicated compared to this one. Um, but overall, like I said, I like it. If you're new and you're trying something out, this is definitely a good starter um, kit for you guys. All right. <music>